All right, hey there, Prox Gaming crew, and this is Prox right here. And before we get ourselves all situated into this episode of Final Fantasy X, well, let's go and check out the trophy system here because we got some new trophies. We got a talent for acquisition, and of course, we can't forget that we do have the chocobo license as well. Now, if you guys do want to know about how that chocobo trophy is all about there for the license part, well, you need to make sure that you clear out all the different chocobo training within the Conlands, even with the racing of the chocobo as well too with the trainer because that one did take me quite a while off recording before getting on into this episode which i'm happy to say that we do have it uh but however we do have haste dog uh, finally sent on into our way of prox or aka known as titus at this point in time which that is really nice to go and use at some point later on down the road but also of course we do have kamari with wartega if you guys to go and see and that is the third of the elemental spells for the black magic that we do have now set to kamari now i know that you guys are gonna probably ask me in the comments is gonna have to be is uh prox why in the heck did you get all the way over to the ortega move because aren't you like way all the way into the back behind uh where lulu is gonna be within her said of her pathway that's going on because i know that we have missed a lot of nodes within our way but however i decided to go and use the teleport sphere and actually head all the way into the ortega move because uh within the way of the next boss fight that's gonna happen both with yang kang and bean ron well we do need a much bigger and powerful black magic spell to do enough significant amount of damage to both of those two bosses to make sure that we get white wind and also with the mighty guard as well so we want to make sure that we go and uh, lure them down pretty good uh so that we can get those two moves now however b ron does also have some other regular uh ronto abilities that we do want to go and pick up with we do want to get thrust kick and also with doom uh doom is actually something new that uh b ron will have uh but since we don't really have thrust kick at this point in time we'll be able to unlock that as well uh, but if you guys are actually curious about what the last Ronzo ability is, well, uh, we are going to have to face off with the Omega weapon and take that on as an optional battle at some point later on down the road. I did do some research though, however, and the said Omega weapon is sitting at the 99,000... 999 hp uh within the actual u.s version of this said game or the north american version here but apparently in the international version for what i have been hearing is, is that in the hd version of uh, final fantasy 10 in like uh like in japan or like even in the pal versions uh you actually have to fight the actual omega weapon sitting at 999,000 hp which that's even ridiculous i have to say i feel sorry for you guys having to deal with that uh, with that well for what you need to go and try to grab with the uh with the nova ability because that's what we're gonna have to go and worry about later on down the road but the nova ability is actually somewhat pretty nice because it does damage to all enemies which i think that would be something really special to go and have but again the omega weapon is kind of like almost in a way of like how ozma works so we're gonna have to be dealing with someone of a relatively hard difficult battle that we're gonna have to do i know that i could never actually go and battle ozma before in fall fantasy 9 that was really difficult because that whole annoying mini and curse type of situation that was going on within there and having to go and face off in both his physical and special attacks which i don't think we're gonna have to really worry about with that of omega but we'll have to see i'll have to learn a little bit more about what his stats are all about but But here we go, and Kamari was going to try to do a battle with these guys, but it seems like uh, he's just too weak for these guys for right now. But yeah, B-Ron and uh, Yeke have been basically bullying Kamari for like the longest amount of times. But uh, what are these two episodes for today? Uh, not only are we just going to be doing out here with the course of Final Fantasy X, but we're also, of course, going to be doing some of the other Proxify plays with me and my friend Joseph. We're going to be going in doing some Rayman Legends. We're going to be playing some Kung Foot and uh, doing the soccer mini game challenge, which I want to say that that's going to be really fun uh, to go and do. Uh, I may actually want to go and bring my friend Kevin along as well to see how well that uh, me and him can have somewhat of a battle between each other. And maybe we'll do somewhat of like a little bit of a tournament at some point uh, with all three of us to just see how well that uh, who will ever get the uh, the bragging rights that we do need 
Now, before we actually go and worry about battling out with uh, B-Ron and Yankee, uh that will be happening, uh, just make sure that you go and buy some items because uh, there is going to be, you know, I said, Ronso tribe member that's going to be around here and you can just go and be able to talk to him and you can get uh, like high potions and regular potions and other type of uh, status ailment medicine to uh, help you out along within your way uh, for our time when we start reaching off into more of what Mel uh, Gagazette is going to be all about. But uh, not to worry, if you do miss out on any of these other type of abilities, which I which I, I want to say, like, uh, even if you uh, like don't really develop Kamari all that too much, uh, you should at least be uh, somewhat OK uh, later on down the road here. Mount, uh, well, for the Mount Gazette, because there is like a dark flan that will actually have doom. And then later on, there will be like an said robot that will have like thrust kick. And I think there's going to be a behemoth that will be able to give you mighty guard. So technically, you're not really out out of like missing out on anything like specialty related. But if you want to do it early enough, well, you do have to go through using Wartega uh, within the pathway of Kamari that we're doing right now with the black magic spells. Or you could actually go and do uh, Kamari and actually head into Riku's path and actually use the actual use ability and uh, just set up and just throwing down like a whole bunch of uh, fire gems like at them so that you could do a significant amount of damage there too. So you actually do have two different options, but. Or actually I could say three because you could just go and find the other enemies later. But yeah, for right now, we're just going to go and get ourselves all stocked up. Now, the one thing that you may possibly want to go and actually have within your way before starting heading on into the way of Mount Gagas is that you're going to probably need some holy water. So we're going to go and do that as well. Summoner Yuna's words, they ring clear in my soul. Small voice, small frame. But a will that towers over Gagazette's peak. Well, I can't wait till we go and explore around within this area because I've never actually seen Mount Gagazette before. So this is going to be something interesting to go and check out. But however, halt. yep, b Road's going to be halting us because unfortunately we are allowed to go Guardians of Summoners, but not Kamari. Uh, haven't you bothered us it's enough? Yeah, they've been bothering us quite a bit. Guardians may pass. Kimari not pass. Kimari shame Ronso brothers. Kimari forget his birth. Forget his people. Forget his mountain. Little Ronso. Weekly. Oh, well, the trash talking is going to be happening, huh? Well, don't worry, because Kamari will go and try to get this battle accomplished and get it done. My strength. Think you will win? You not forget who took your horn. Never forget. Kimari never beat Brother Biran. Never win. This time, I win. I will win. Nope, it's not your time just yet there, Titus. It's a Kamari problem. And here we go. We'll let the battle commence. Let's do it. All right. So first things first, what you are going to have to go and do here within this battle is start setting up for Lancet because at some point later on down the road, I don't know if it's like a time type of thing with B-Ron, uh, but he will go and start setting up with his Berserk. So you may possibly just want to go and just start lining up with Lancet if you want to go and get the Thrust Kick and the Doom right away. And that's what exactly what I'm going to be doing out here. Um, now, you can't go and steal from them as well. Uh, they actually do have level key, well, or sorry, uh, level three key spheres uh, that are going to be around. And uh, you can go and grab a whole bunch of them if you want to, uh, because it's somewhat unlimited. Because again, with the stealing uh, within this game, you don't really have any type of max limit of what you need to go and do with the stealing. Uh, but for us, I did go and do a little bit of uh, some grabbing. I think I got like maybe four of them. I don't really need to go and do a whole bunch because I don't want to have B-Ron go us out for Berserk right away. So this is where uh, the Wartega move or the Fire Gems are going to come into place. Whatever type of pathway that you go and use for... Uh for what Kamari's going to be. So we're going to go and light up on uh, on Yanke first. Just so that I can get the, uh, the White Wind out of the way first. 
And uh, mind you, if you haven't went out of your way to go and do a whole bunch of trading with Kamari, I believe uh, Yankee and B-Ron will actually have somewhat of a nice good uh, range of attacks, uh, which uh, they won't do like a whole heck of a lot to you. It just depends on uh, what you do with Kamari uh, that you have been training up or not been training up with. And so far, uh, these guys have been doing a little bit less amount of damage, so we're okay for right now. But again, you can always go and heal up as well throughout the battle, too. So we're going to go and line up for another one of these Wartega moves out here. So there we go. That should at least do enough where we should be able to now go and get the little text description of him going to go and use that for White Wind. So you kind of have to make sure that you go and uh, whenever Yenke or B-Raw go for their special uh, type of Ronzo abilities here, uh, you actually have to go and wait until they go and use it. Then you can go and then use the Lancer right after. All right, so after a little bit of time here, we're now going to go after B-Ron at this point. We're going to go and start setting up with the Ortega on him now. So now he's going to set up for the Aqua Breath. Should do as much, so we're still being okay. So now he's going to be set up for the Mighty Guard. So what we're going to have to do is actually nullify out that water. So we're going to have to go and just uh, set up for any type of water ability and just kind of just disappear that out of there so that we can then go and just use Lancer right after. Yeah, so I just kind of have to just try to figure out exactly what I need to do to plan out my stuff. <laughs> yeah, because I know that uh, during throughout this whole entire let's play, I kind of had to make sure exactly what I needed to do so that I won't actually go out of my way to mess anything up. But uh, we should be able to go and just uh, set for the water out here pretty much soon. I wish there was like a way where I could go and like check out the different HPs of like the different enemies because like I know that you could do that with the Aeons but I don't know if you could actually do that with uh, some of your regular characters out here but here we go. So let's just uh, light up with the uh, with the water and there we go and just like that that should at least make sure that one part of that is disappeared from the Mighty Guard there and then now we just have to go and just light up with the Lancet move now. And after all that, uh, I'm going to just edit out on all the other different parts afterwards. And then you guys can just see me uh, go and just completely uh, knock out on both these guys here. And then we can go and uh, see the ending part of this episode. All right. And just like that, Mighty Gar has been caught now. So that is everything that we do need. And we don't ever have to worry about any more other Ronzo abilities from here. Not until later on into the game, but for the last one. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we won. Perfect. Oh, yeah, and if you guys uh, did get to see, I do actually have a brand new uh, type of weapon attached on over here with the Kamari. That is known as the Dream Lance. Apparently, it's actually pretty nice. It does have piercing and sleep touch with it. But at least I didn't really have to go and use out with the sleep touch yet. <laughs> We'll possibly see it in action, maybe at some point later on with the Melk Gagazette or something. Sacred Mount Gagazette. I honor the name of strong warrior who defeats Well, that's pretty good for Kamari. At least now with uh, these two guys here for the Ronzo tribe with B-Ron and Yeke, they finally acknowledge him as someone who is, uh, is a worthy opponent uh, for them. Yeah, it just kind of sucks that unfortunately, like, throughout my way of this series, I hardly really went out of my way to use too much of Kamari. Because then I didn't have to really worry about having to miss out, like, so many amount of nodes to just get that Ortega move out of there. But not to worry, I will have to go and just go and do the backwards way of the sphere grid so i will have to try to grab out what the other missing ones but if not i'll probably have to use the other teleporting sphere to return back to where i was at originally from last time thank you but i fear that no one will make a statue for a traitor such as i am oh well that's pretty nice with grand horn on 
that would be wonderful. All right, and I think with that being said, guys, we are almost done with this episode, and that is going to leave out with the outro for today. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching for Fall Fantasy X. Too. We got all the different yeah, Ronto abilities that we do need, and um, within our next way, we will have to go and reach off into Mount Gagazette for next time. So, anyways, see you guys then, and of course, peace.